welcome. I'm Susan Purney Mark and I'm a surface design artist and quilter. In this series of short videos I'm going to explore some mark making techniques that I incorporate into some of my work. Remember although I'm working on fabric you can use the same ideas on to uh, paper or other mediums that you might use. In this first video I'm using something as simple as an edge of a credit card or scraper to create interesting marks that make pattern and texture onto my fabric. I hope you'll join me. Let's begin by looking at some of the supplies we'll be using for our mark making. I've got a textile paint, black neopaque, which is a nice dark intense black. I have a brayer for spreading our paint. This is my tool that I'll be using for the first of our mark making, a spoon for the paint, some pins to pin the fabric down onto the print table, the brayer, and a piece of plexiglass covered with glad press and seal. The idea behind this is once I've spread the paint and I've used it all up, then I can just simply take the plastic off and throw it in the garbage without having to wash my palette here. Now I have the fabric pinned down to my print table. I have my palette here. I'm going to just spread about a teaspoon of paint out onto the palette and then I use the brayer to spread the paint so that I can have an even application of paint onto the fabric. This firm edge here, it could be uh, something like this scraper, it could be a credit card, anything with a fairly uh, straight firm edge but with something with a little bit of flexibility. And I'm going to show three different marks that you can do. You could use other colors, you could use different fabric, the choice is up to you. It's just that the black paint shows up really well on the white. I'm beginning with some just straight lines and using the edge of the little scraper. I'm just going down a few inches there and the idea is that we're just making these marks in a random yet uh, planned fashion which sounds a little odd but what it'll give us are some really nice lines to work into something so I'm not really thinking too much at this point what I'll be using the fabric for. I know that I can cut these lines across in a horizontal fashion to create stripes. I could use it, cut it diagonally. I could do blocks of lines as well, sort of segments in squares or rectangles. And I could do just a few and each time I'm just picking up a bit of paint on the edge and moving it across the fabric. Another way of making marks is again to get paint onto the edge of the scraper and you could do simple scrapes across. They can be staggered. You could do them in a straight line along there. And another option would be then to go in the other direction. So we're creating both texture and pattern with this technique in there. And again, cut up into a composition. You've got some really interesting areas in there that you could focus on. Now another way of working might be to use the edge of it, of your scraper, 
and help it to do curves by bending and moving the piece, the scraper, across the surface of the fabric and creating some really, lots of movement in here and getting some areas that are stronger and some that are much lighter. Now I'm using white cotton fabric but you could think of maybe some linen some fabric that you've already worked pattern or texture into by screen printing or other mark making. You could try a variety of different colors so each movement across the fabric is with a different color of textile paint. And remember that these would need to be heat set once they're dry as well. So these three ideas are just some of the many possibilities that you can use by creating marks onto your fabric. Thanks for watching. You can see more information about me on my website at susanpm.com or visit my blog at susanpm.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.